What's up, not so serious gaming people? We're back with another Everton video, and this time we're gonna start the episode off again. West Bromwich Albion, and there goes the car. Awesome. And, uh, yeah, players aren't too great with fitness, so we're gonna have to bring in some of the young lads and some fringe players. And we decide to, uh, play win. Do we? No? Yes, 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 we do. So hopefully we can win this one. Not playing too great West Brom in recent form, but we ain't got a first team out, so yeah, there's the first half. There was literally nothing to show you at all. I thought about showing just crap, but I thought what's the point? And it takes to the 60th minute for the first real chance to come on, and it's Romelu Lukaku, and it's a good save from Tim Howard. We make some subs, some of the big lads coming on, Isko, Jadovic, Kovacic. A quarter of an hour left, Jelovic, Kovacic, it's a good play, Isco, Jelovic, skips past his man, surely, finesse! Parried by Benny Foster, nice miss does the teapot stance, and uh, Olsen with a big head, and somehow, Tim out, Timmy Howard keeps that one out, just to beat, play it, and that is it, win, everyone else giving, Howard, uh, quite deserved pat on the back there. Definitely uh, saved us uh, towards the end of the game, and it's a nil-nil. Not great result, but when we didn't have our first team out, I think I was willing to settle for it. And you can see Howard had 9.9. .9. Don't know how, because look at the stats. No keeper really had to do anything. We get offered the job by Bolivia, and I straight away say, HELL NO! And we got Norwich up next, raining again. Fitness, again, isn't too great, so we bring in Kovacic from our own two loonies. We bring in, in the January transfer window, and the rest we decide to leave, as I know I need a result in this game. Draw against Spurs, Fulham, and defeat to Liverpool, so not the worst form, and we start this off with a free kick to Isco, a good strike, and it back deflects off one Norwich defender's falls to Morales, and he ain't gonna miss from there, he puts it in that far corner, one new after four minutes, not bad, those Norwich fans on the left hand side get pretty mad, there you go, four minutes, one nil. and we're into ninth minute, Leo, Isco, first goal for Everton! First goal for Everton, 11 minutes, 2 0. He shushes the Norwich fans because it's getting embarrassing for them. You can see they're raging. All raging across the stadium. They can't handle it. I don't know what's going on. That Leo is co connecting. Working for us at the moment, so that's good. And, uh, yeah, Norwich kick off again. Hopefully they kick off a bit better and we're in the 20th minute here, surely we're not going to make it free. Morales, he's got the space, finesse in the far corner and yes it is 3-0. 23 minutes, this could end up being one of our biggest victories if we keep going on the way we are playing. I'm not sure what our biggest victory is, I think it's only something like 3-0 actually, I can't even remember. But yeah. And here come Norwich, and it's a good save by Tim Howard to deny any chance of them going out. Leo, Pino is about to make it fall. No, save. Jesus, shut up, bloody birds chirping outside my window. Jesus, probably should have shut it, but whatever, can't bother. And here we go into the next half, and Leo Baptiste out, and the King scores. I think that's about his, what, 18th goal or something? I don't know, I've lost count, the man scoring so many, which is just, he's just proved to be a great signing, but I've looked on websites and his potential use isn't actually as high as you'd think, which is disappointing, but you know, if you're scoring, I don't care, you have two overall, but here's the f second chance for Norwich of the game, and it's saved off the line, I think that was Phil Jagielka, we've got a chance here, 10 minutes left, Baines eyeing up this free kick with that magical left foot, and it's saved onto the post, still looking to our first free kick of the series and the game ends 4-0 to Everton so 4 points in a out of 6 in the first 2 games, not too bad not sure what we got next I 
feel like a uh, Man United, but I'm not too sure if it is them. I don't think it is. I don't know. Can't remember at all. It's been a while since I recorded this. But anyway, you can see world dominated the game, deserved the three points. Probably deserved the four goal margin as well. So, as you can see, their Spurs defeated Arsenal. Yeah, not really good for me in the Capital One Cup final, and here's Man United. So, Arsenal still with that trophy, and it had to be against Tottenham and all. Me knowing this was against Man United didn't really want to change too much because we've got a very strong side. You know, Ferdinand, Rooney in the mid centre midfield, obviously Van Persie. And uh, I'm going to start this game off with Rooney, Anderson, the bench warmer, and Hernandez, and somehow hit off the post, hit off Howard's hand, and we were lucky not to go one in behind. And Hernandez literally just walks around our defence and slides that one in. Chicharito, we know how clinical he is, good poacher for Man United. Takes, get, takes him in front after 17 minutes. I probably shouldn't have went to ground, but, you know, in the heat at the moment, I thought I would make the tackle, and Isco here, look at this for a pass, get out of the way, Ferdinand, the old man can't keep up with Leo, and Kaboosh, finds the bottom corner, me failing again to get the ball at the back of the net, but instead I decide to do this, yes, look at this dribbling skill, and then headbutt the... The old side ball thing, just headbutt it hardcore, Leo, you don't care, man. Just headbutt it. Whatever, it's nothing to him, man. No sweat, just go around headbutting stuff. Might be headbutting players soon, like a Zidane. You don't know. Ah, oh, nice little dummy there, bum around, three legs. <laughs> There's Gibson leaving the field where he turned out for them quite a few times. And Isco, the sweat. The sweat! What? What? Oh my good! I think uh, Fergie will be having a change of heart with what keeper he's going with, and we've got another free kick. Baines eyeing this one up, and I change my mind and go with the Spaniard. The Spaniard, I say that thing. Got quite a tall player on the end of this wall though, so I'm going to try and curl it around to Anderson's head. And he's done it, and it's just bounced wide. If I had it a bit more to the right, the angles. Probably would have been a goal, and here we come again, dominating here at Old Trafford, and Leo takes a touch, and Anders Lindegaard parries it wide. And that was all the chances, not a bad point at all to go to Old Trafford, to get a point there, but as long as we don't lose and any more ground on them as they're just slightly above us, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, in the league table it's not that much different, so not a bad result at all. Leo with man in the match for us. 8.4, not too shabby. And let's have a look at the match facts. As you can see, fairly even, but I think you have to say we deserved it. Spurs picking up a win there. Obviously, are close rivals with us, so that's not too good. And we have Reading and Man City, two home fixtures, so hopefully we can uh, get the results there. Yep, Leo has 18 league goals. So have a look at the table. We're doing very, very well. Chelsea is still only defeated to us, and we're well in the top four fight. In control of it at the moment, but it's still very tight. Reading look near enough doomed already. Norwich and West Ham aren't looking too great for them either. Tevez and Leo on the exact same. The phone bar not too far behind. And Percy Podolski, and you got Ben Arthur, Bale, Suarez, Rooney, all those lot down there. Even got Moses on six for Chelsea. You've got Osman and Jelovic leading the way in assists. And you got Ruiz, Gutierrez, and Fola. Moses again, as we got told to buy him earlier on. He's proving his worth at Chelsea. So I'd like to thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, and peace.